Hello, William, the saxophonist. So sorry for the last uh, week. Uh, I, I had a bad flu and it wasn't really possible for me to, to speak and, and give lessons. So uh, for now, that thing inspired me something about pain, about trouble. And uh, so today we talk about uh, lip pain. Maybe you have experienced that. Uh, lip pain, also sax trouble, and I take my old favorite sax to show you something on the sax trouble. And uh, also we, we will learn a new key with a F sharp. Three topics today, let's go. So today I show you my Clyward saxophone. Real lovely finish. Old saxophone from the 70s. And uh, also everything is old with that saxophone. Mm. And maybe you begin to to have your routine and, and try to, to work daily with uh, your mouthpiece and have uh, something. This is the neck, the old neck, beautiful. And uh, the mouthpiece that goes with that sax. It's a Florida um, uh, Autolink metal, uh, a 10 opening very wide opening. Florida is a uh, old, <coughs> old, um, old piece, old mouthpiece. But uh, that does not really matter. So, oh. so first topic, it's uh, about um, uh, lip pain. So maybe you had uh, a pain and your teeth will cut your your lip uh, as far as you you are playing. So by the time your lip will be used to that, and um, you won't have any pro trouble. Uh, exactly like uh, um, finger, you uh, you get callosis when you play a lot of guitar, bass, or or any kind of instrument. The callosis of saxophonist go there uh, under the underlip. Then, um, if you have pain, you can put a paper on your on your lip. So uh, um, I used to have uh, some cigarette paper. You know, uh, you buy just the, the paper for for to do your own cigarettes, and um, you fold it. Uh, and you put it on on your teeth, so it will make uh, something really uh, really soft, and uh, and you won't you won't cut your your lip uh, anymore. But uh, I don't have it. I don't have any paper. I show you the, uh, another paper. We cut the. <laughs> <coughs> I come back with a, a piece of paper and the cigarette paper may goes like that. <laughs> and you can fold it now. So your cigarette paper will be like that. Fold it that way then in three parts. Okay. 
three parts half and then it really goes on your teeth like that mm. okay <laughs> so um, with that kind of paper it won't last very long just for uh, for the the session but uh, with some um, cigarette paper it will last very really really longer so that's for the lip pain maybe you have experienced pain on your thumb so be careful not to to hold your sax with that with that finger um, but uh, essentially you it's it's not very dangerous that that pain on the lip be careful with the other kind of of pain then you can always text me a message text me add message in the comment so for today long tone with only the mouthpiece <laughs> Piece and the neck. I saw that you you are able to, to sing something with only the the mouthpiece. It's really really good. I'm proud of you. And for now, I take the whole saxophone and show you the second topic of this video. That's a, a sax trouble. What if my saxophone have a trouble? Have something? to repair yeah so you see when I on the F the not get get uh, don't <laughs> don't get don't comes to life <laughs> it's not uh, efficient so it may uh, arrive when uh, there is some leak in fact you have a uh, leather on the key and the leather goes on the on the hole of the sax and, and the hole may be really mm, well covered uh, if the hole is not really uh, perfectly covered there is some leak and and some air that goes through so um, in that sax, I have that, that trouble, and I need to uh, to go uh, um, to go, and it will be repaired. And in fact, uh, we will go in in a video to see how the craftsman can repair it, and with a light, you can see um, you can see the light, and uh, and you can fold and and make some little adjustment, but. Um, uh, that's it. Be careful with your sax because <clears throat> it may have trouble. So, for now, I will use the octave key and see if I, I have the same trouble with the F uh, on the upper octave. I will go from the high C, so with the octave key and see. I can hear that I have that trouble too, but the F goes, the high F goes, but not very well, the E not very well, and the D not at all. So I have trouble with all the right hand, okay? So um, uh, first, the third topic of this video, uh, we got to, to learn uh, one more key, in fact one more note, and we learn on the uh, right hand the F, E, and D, okay? And between F and E, we have F sharp. No, uh, uh, between the, the finger, but not between the, the, in fact, between the C, the G, and the F, we have F sharp. And how we do F sharp, it's that way, with only the mid finger. So always with the free finger here and here just 
the second finger. So even if my sax have trouble, I will try to to, to play. So after I play a G, a F, a G, a F sharp. <laughs> I G <laughs> so so much trouble but uh, um, G F and G F sharp okay so now you know the how to produce the F sharp so this is uh, that video with the third topic and um, uh, just uh, we check we had the E uh, flat here with that key do you remember and uh, in the next video I will join my uh, my uh, Selmer saxophone that is really uh, efficient and good condition and we will learn to play the uh, chromatic scale yes and uh, in this month we begin to to work on chromatic scale and uh, arpeggio triads and uh, we come into the game of playing so see you mm -hmm.